I'm Dana Griffin and this is your morning update for Sunday, March 27th. A military veteran is helping to bring more affordable housing to San Diego. Today is the official groundbreaking for what will be a six unit affordable housing project in Lincoln Park. Desert Storm vet Joseph Lewis was once homeless and he said he's been providing low income housing in our community since 2000 for military veterans and low income families. There are three more housing projects to break ground on by the end of the year. Today, House of Ukraine is planning another support rally. March 27th is also National Day of Action, so rallies throughout the country are expected. The Stand with Ukraine rally starts at 2 today in Balboa Park. We've learned new de details on the deadly stabbing we first told you about as breaking news yesterday. After police pulled over a red Ford Focus in North Park for speeding, they learned the driver was racing to the hospital to help a passenger suffering from a stab wound. Officers administered CPR before the man was taken to the hospital where he died. A major organization is stepping in to help find a Fallbrook grandmother who went missing almost five months ago. Fowler O'Sullivan Foundation has coordinated a search for 84 year old Elena Roy. It's happening in the Santa Margarita Preserve. The nonprofit assists families of missing hikers across the U.S. Roy was last seen leaving her home on the afternoon of November 3rd. Her husband told NBC7 that the two argued about the placement of a picture frame before she stormed out of the house and never came back. There is a $10,000 reward for information that helps find Elena. Turning now to the ripple effects of those high gas prices, more and more people are making the switch to public transit. MTS says they've seen a sharp increase in riders, with locals seeing the cost of a $6 trolley ticket as a better deal than the price of filling up their tank. MTS says just last Friday, 208,000 people jumped on an MTS trolley or bus, making it the biggest hike in ridership they've seen in over two years. Well, take a look there. The Sesame Street theme park is now open in Chula Vista. The neighborhood is interactive and feels like you've stepped right onto Sesame Street. It's built on the site of what was Aquatica. The park is a certified autism center, so everything is designed to make all families feel welcome. So it looks like a lot of fun there. Yes, it does. Here's a look at your first alert forecast. So temperatures out along the coast from the low to upper 60s on this Sunday. We have a mix of 60s and 70s for the Inland Valley communities. Dem definitely tapering compared to what we had yesterday. We're close to the mid to upper 60s over the mountains, deserts, anywhere from those 70s to the 90s. And for your future weather pattern, you'll notice here winds are going to turn on shore, keeping us a little bit cooler today. We will have some clouds overhead and do keep in mind you want to have that umbrella ready because we have rain on the way for Monday and Tuesday. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thank you so much. So we'll continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those topics affecting our community. Stay safe. Have a nice day.